How are you doing, Lisa Nadine? Hey, Madeline. How are you? Good. I'm doing well. <laughs> um, I love season six, and I'm so excited to talk about it with you, too. Nadine, I want to start with you because I think Clarissa's redemption arc is one of the most interesting parts of the show. Oh, that's awesome. And in season six, she's now part of the crew on the Rossi. So what do you think is going through her mind as she tries to build a rapport with Holden and Naomi specifically, who she tried to kill in season three? Um, I mean, it's understandable why people would be mad at Clarissa or not trust her at this point yet. We might have spent months at war together and Clarissa has definitely been working her butt off to try and prove herself. Um, but I, I think, you know, this is best case scenario for Clarissa at this point. Like, I think she's, there's a part of her that's really grateful to have been saved from earth and to have an opportunity to have a little tribe and just to have a person, a friend, a mentor that she trusts that's on her side. Um, I think, you know, the, the desire to win a, a family over to possibly belong to the Rossi crew gives her a lot of hope. Um, and I know, I think Clarissa understands that she has to work for, for that trust to be, to be built. Yeah, definitely. And Wes, in season six, we really see how Amos has taken Clarissa under his wing the way Naomi had done for him. Mm -hmm. So what does that say about how far he's come since season one? Well, it's definitely, uh, you know, it's definitely been a fascinating arc to work on with Amos and his journey throughout this whole season and how different he is in this in this season to where when we first met him and where he started in season one. But I think he recognized how lost Clarissa is, the, how vulnerable she was, and that she's not an evil person, that she was it's just a misguided love and loyalty to her father, that she's just trying to do what she thinks is the right thing. And so taking her under his wing and becoming her mentor is a big moment of growth for Amos and a completion to that, that arc. Yeah. Amos and Clarissa are so well-developed throughout the show. So for both of you, what resonates with you most about your character when you look back on their journey? I would say the, the depth of the arc, you know, she's been through a lot of darkness and I think that um, lack of self-awareness to becoming, going through a lot of revelations and then becoming more self-aware and trying to find a new home and a new self. Um, I really relate to that on a personal level. And I think, you know, as uh, humanity in general. <laughs> on a personal level, I mean, I think Amos's overall theme that kind of fuels where he is in, in, uh, in season six, that is also in line with what I think the whole show is really about is that he came from such darkness and such despair. And because of the right people and the, and the right mentorship and the, and the love of the Rossi crew that he's had, that it has kind of rescued him and fully brought him back to life. And so there's a lot of hope in that. And just like I think that the show ends, uh, season six ends with hope, hope of the future and hope of Amos, the uh, hope of Clarissa and what their future is going to be. Yeah. And I'm sure both of you are aware that your characters do appear in the later books. So if there were, hopefully, to be future film or TV adaptations of the series, would you want to reprise your roles? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And like Wes said, we've stuck so closely to the, the storyline of the books, especially um, Clarissa's, like everything's been by the book, which has been really fun because the fans that have read the books absolutely yeah. love that. Um, I have an enormous amount of gratitude for everything that the expanse has brought in my life, included the, the fans and this amazing complex character. And I feel such an honor to be able to play this and to be able to bring it to its full completion, this whole story and these characters. Um, that's something that, you know, that's a once in a lifetime opportunity that doesn't really get to happen to be a part of something at this level for this long, uh, in this career. So, uh, yeah, absolutely. I would be open to that. Well, congratulations to you both for all the work you've done on this show. It's been amazing to watch. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Oh, you too. Thank, Thank you. you.